Hello everyone. Today we're gonna learn how to map a global forest cover at a national scale. Uh, so we're gonna use the Hansen Global Forest uh, Change Product, uh, which is published at the Science uh, Journal. Um, so by the end of the tutorial, we're gonna uh, publish tree cover data for um, Gabon here. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, tree cover um, a product uh, for Gabon uh, that we're gonna um, display at the end of this tutorial. So we are gonna use the Hansen Global Forest data and this product um, is published at uh, the, the, the Science Journal um, here and it contains data from 20, uh, 2000 to 2022 here uh, and um, so it has different bands um, a tree uh, forest loss, forest gain, and tree cover. So we're gonna use the tree cover layer. So let's get started. So first, um, as always, I would like to create a region of interest um, because we're gonna do a national scale mapping. We're gonna um, uh, provide a specific country that we're gonna use to map our tree cover data, okay? So I'll create a variable ROI and I'll import um, a feature collection or shape file uh, from Earth Engine, uh, which is the uh, LSIP uh, US DOS uh, simple uh, shape file, which is country's boundary data. Um, and so I'll just create a bracket here and then close the bracket. And then, so this data is a, a global data, it covers all countries. Uh, boundary so I'm gonna uh, use a filter to uh, select the specific country I'm interested in. in this case I'll I'll use Gabon uh, so I'll apply filter here EE -E, uh, filter uh, equal and then I'll provide the field or attribute that I'm gonna use to apply this filter which is country NA which is um, 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 containing the the country names so i'll say country na is the field that stores the country names so i'll provide a specific country name that i'm interested gabon all right gabon here that should be it and i'll close my javascript statement so this should uh, import countries database and filter by specific country and we'll have um, um, countries boundary for gabon uh, so the next thing is to go to uh, Earth Engine and then copy this image collection, uh, which contains the tree cover, the global tree cover data. I'll go ahead and copy that and then paste it here. And so I'll create a variable in JavaScript. We need to declare a variable before we uh, create a variable. So I'll create a data set uh, variable to store this image collection uh, data set. Okay. And then, um, so semicolon to close my um, statement here. And so the next thing is to actually uh, display the tree cover data. Um, and so by applying map add layer function, which is an earth engine built in function, a layer, and then I'll call this uh, image collection here. And so um, I'll have to clip it by our region of interest to um, map it at a national scale, right? So this is a global data. So I'll use the clip feature to, um, to subset it to our study region, in this case, uh, national scale Gabon. Um, and then I'll create a curly bracket to specify which bands I'm using and bands is, I'll create a, a square bracket to store the band name. In this case, I'll be using tree cover, uh, which is uh, this one here, this band. And, and the next is uh, I'll create a palette. Um, and then um, of a, a, a square bracket to store the color codes and this dark color 
for um, non forest, non, non tree cover areas, and I'll uh, add another green color to store the for tree cover areas, which is uh, from zero to hundred hundred percent tree cover. So I'll also need to define uh, the maximum value, which is hundred percent tree cover. And um, next, I'll um, um, you know create uh, a layer name, which is we say the national tree cover mapping. So I'll say um, Gabon tree cover. Okay, then that should um, be it. And one last thing is. If we're interested to display the uh, region of interest, we can do so by applying again map add layer. Layer. And the e image. And then I'll call that um, ROI here. And zero and one. Uh, and then I'll create a curly bracket here and then st um, a square bracket here and then um, that should be it and then I'll create a just a layer name to store um, the to store the layer name for the for our shape file uh, so some typo here I have to fix that um okay so instead of the curly bracket has to be closed here instead of here i think that should be perfect okay let's go ahead and um before we go ahead and execute if we execute this code now um because it's a global data set uh, it doesn't know where to zoom in so um and to adjust the zoom level i'll apply a map center object and then ROI um, roughly six a uh, zoom level you can add just a zoom level depending on um, your preference and then now if you execute this code you will display um, national tree cover uh, data set for Gabon and it will change the zoom uh, center zoom to uh, Gabon let's go ahead and execute that excellent so yeah, now uh, now we can see uh, our, um, let's just go ahead and execute again. So it's zooming in here. Um, so now we can see, um, you know, tree cover, uh, pretty high tree cover, uh, you know, values here in green and darker areas, and then tree cover, probably agriculture. Uh, and you can also see that on the Google um, um, satellite image background. Uh, but uh, this is our, um, you know, product, uh, a national scale tree cover map based on the Hansen product on the Google Earth Engine cloud computing platform.